Okay, this is the 2019 Volvo S60. This particular one is the T6, and the trim is the momentum. Love those wheels. Look at that. They look like they're moving when they're standing still. All right, this is powered by a two liter turbo four cylinder engine producing 250 horsepower and 258 uh, foot pound of torque, capable of 24 city, 36 highway with 28 combined. It has a 14 and a half gallon fuel tank. There are three trim levels to this vehicle. Starting uh, MSRP is 35.8 to 42.9. There is an 11.6 cubic feet cargo capacity and this vehicle rides on a 113.1 inch wheelbase. This one give you a shot of the sunroof. Take a look at the tail lights, rear end. I'll give you a quick shot of the interior. Nathan's in there right now taking a look at that and showing folks around. Let me show you the back seat. And this is all-wheel drive, of course. Great handling, great traction. Love the cut line here on the hips. Very hard to do to match that up. A nice, heavy cut line like that in uh, different gaps. Very hard to do to match that up. Volvo's done a fantastic job of that. Like the creases, like the sharpness, like the overall look. You got the Thor, Thor's hammer in the headlights with the LED lights and the typical, easily recognizable worldwide Volvo grill and emblem. Beautiful car. 2019 Volvo S60 T6 Momentum trim. So here we are on the inside of the Volvo SD60 T6 Momentum. And we'll give you a little view of the interior here. Power seats on both sides there. We have a really nice leather seating. You do have a very tall, uh, I, I believe it is a 10 inch uh, screen. Could be, it's large. Um, it would be very similar to uh, um, something like an iPad or something. You've got a large, uh, fairly large digital display. You do have some, uh, you have your uh, fuel gauge on the left and your engine temperature on the right that are, that are etched in. There, maybe we can see that a little better there. There we go, that's better. And then the middle part is a digital display. Uh, I'm told that this display looks similar to what Volvo used to have in this area um, with some modifications. This particular car does come with a heads-up display, rear parking aids, a hands-free lift gate, uh, a rear, uh, heated mirrors, part device integration, so your, obviously your phones will work with this, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, uh, will work on there. There's a glove compartment. This dual zone temperature control. A navigation seat system, heated front and rear seats, lumbar uh, on both sides for driver and passenger. And then lots of safety features. This has blind spot monitoring, auto leveling lights, uh, lane departure warning, lane keeping assist. So one of the interesting things is how this car starts. So it does not have a push start button up on the dashboard nor does it have one you know, on the center console, but instead it's right down here and it's a twist knob, not a push. So then you know, if you have a pet or kids or you're just leaning over, you don't accidentally hit it. Uh, but you do have to have the key uh, somewhere in the vicinity and um, this one actually has a key symbol on it. So I think you have to have the key somewhere around there, but since I can't start it, I can't tell you for sure. Um, and then you just twist it to start it and only twist one way. And then if I push this forward, you do have another little uh, storage tray. Push it again to release it, and then this one slides up from the back, and they meet. Looks really nice. Let's go take a look at the back. So here we are in the back, and you got your, uh, your venting coming through right here. You got map pockets on both seats. There's your heated seat buttons, a little tiny storage right here, 12 volt outlet. Then you just have your, um, they won't come on right now, you have your reading lights right there. And right there you do have a panoramic moonroof. And then of course you do have your center console which was with a pass through, which folds down and gives you the cup holders. Room wise, 
I haven't changed the, the driver's seat, <laughs> mostly because I can't, it won't move, but it was comfortable for me when I was sitting there, and I have a good six inches of space uh, with my knees to the seat, and then if you can see here, I've got another three, four inches above my head, so very, very comfortable. 